You better turn up You better be there when I shake Watch me rockin' if I can't stop If I should fall, just go ahead Go and catch me, baby Frazier, welcome back for another grocery haul. We are a family of six and we have a two week grocery haul. So this is a typical bi-weekly shopping, grocery shopping for me. Um, I typically go through and do a meal plan um, for two weeks. I go through my pantry and the fridge to see what we have left over. Um, and then I kind of just pick up, whoop, I kind of just pick up and shop from there. So um, if you're new here, I do all my shopping online. I order through the Walmart grocery app and the BJ's grocery app. It just makes life simpler. Um, it also helps with spending money. So we are on a very strict budget. Uh, not like super strict, but we are very much on a budget um, these days with groceries. And ordering through the app helps um, basically keep to that budget because I'm not walking through the store, you know, by chance I go in hungry or craving something. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going into the store picking those items up and putting them in my cart because I want them. So we have a plan for everything that is here on the counter to use. So let me go ahead. I will flip you around, show you what we got, and then I will tell you at the end what I spent and, um what our meal plan is. Alrighty, so I do have everything kind of separated um, between BJ's and Walmart. We will go ahead and start with the Walmart side of things. I feel like that's a little bit easier since it is right here in front. Um, I will say, I know I say this all the time, we do have a access to a farmer's market weekly here um, all year round. It's actually more than weekly. Um, there's farmer's markets on Saturday, Sundays, and I think Wednesday or Thursday, basically all within a 10 to 30 minute drive of us. Um, so we pretty much have access unless we need something that night. Like, for instance, we are going to be having tacos tonight. No farmer's market today. So I did pick up some Roma tomatoes. Um, these I would normally pick up at the farmer's market. They just taste a lot better, uh, but that's okay. These actually look really good. So my shopper at Walmart did a really good job picking some tomatoes out for us. Uh, now I will say grocery stores are typically cheaper when it comes to produce. Um, usually not always. Uh, these were definitely cheaper than my normal what I normally pay at the farmer's market. I think I paid like $3.00 for a bowl of them last week. I can't even remember how many was in there, but, and then today I paid 91 cents for four. So there is definitely a difference. I just like to support the local farmers. And so I try to do as much produce shopping at those farmers market. Um, I will, I, I have plans. I think it's this weekend I'm going to be bringing you guys along and I will be filming that for you guys. So I hope that you will stick around so you can catch that video. Um, but anyway, we're going to start here. I said tacos and then we're also doing um, subs tomorrow and referencing the subs. We have some hard salami. Hillshire Farms is one of my favorite lunch meats. Um, I've tried the store brand to try to save money, but honestly, it's just not worth the 50 cents or whatever it is for me. So we picked up some hard salami and then I also picked up some black forest ham. These are the bigger containers. My family will eat more of the ham than the salami. And then whatever's left over for the deli meat, Fred will probably take to work in his lunches. Um, I also picked up some of the Sargento provolone cheese. I honestly don't know why I got Sargento. I will eat store brand cheese. Um, in my opinion, uh, these types of cheeses, provolone, cheddar, Colby Jack, they are the same across the board um, no matter what the brand. At least, again, from my experience. 
Moving on, we picked up some of the these pinto beans. Goya is my favorite. I don't know. The flavoring is just there for me. So I did pick up a bigger can here. I actually needed two, but we already had one in the pantry. So again, that's part of the budgeting thing. I found one in the pantry, so I didn't end up needing to buy two of them. Um, but I do have this one. We have... Um, I. We usually put these as a side for like chicken tacos. Uh, I make my own refried beans out of them is basically what I'm getting at here. And then I also, uh, we put them on our actual like beef tacos. I picked up some red hot wing sauce. We, with the Super Bowl coming up, we are huge football people. So we definitely will be watching the Super Bowl. Go Chiefs. Um, and yes, I was a Chiefs fan before Taylor Swift came along. <laughs> um, but anyway, the kids and the husband asked for wings. So can't have wings without Frank's. I also picked up some tomato juice. I am craving chili something fierce. So I actually, we purchased um, some, here let me actually show you. We, from Omaha, we are, I had to have my dad bring me some of my favorite chili beans, which are these original chili beans and chili sauce from Mrs. Grimes. We do not have these here in Florida. Mrs. Grimes, if you are listening, please bring these to the east coast of Florida. I, these are my favorite chili beans. They remind me of my mom. Um, and yeah, so makes life simpler. <laughs> I just had my dad bring a whole bunch down with him. Um, so that way I am plenty stocked until he is ready to come back to Florida next winter. So anyway, chili. Um, I make a really simple chili. I use uh, the chili beans, hamburger, tomato juice, and um, I used to use stewed tomatoes, but recently I've been using Rotel tomatoes. And y'all, it gives it a little bit extra um, spice, but it tastes so good. <laughs> so next up, I have some brats. Let's see, I forgot to take them out of the package. I apologize, but they are just the Johnsonville, um, just the Johnsonville. Oh, they have cheddar and bacon. Oh, okay. I thought I bought just cheddar brats. Um, that's a little different. We'll see how the hubby and the kiddos like them. I personally don't care for an actual brat like this. I just don't like the casing on them. Um, so I picked up myself some of these Johnsonville jalapeno cheddar brats. Um, Freddie will probably eat these ones too, but these are my favorite. Um, and then the hubby prefers the actual brats. So that'll be a day, um, hopefully a weekend, because then I, for whatever reason, cannot get brats cooked properly to make sure that they are not pink in the inside. So that's a hubby job. So we will probably have that on a weekend. Um, I picked up some of these fajita um, meat packages. That is crazy that this is family size and that's family. Are they the same weight? What is the weight here? 14 ounces and 16 ounces. Okay. So this is the steak fajitas for, um, we are going to be making quesadillas and Fred prefers steak. So I picked up the steak. These are $10 for this tiny little 14 ounce package, you guys. Um, realistically, it'd probably be cheaper to just buy a strip steak and cook it or grill it and then cut it all down. But the flavorings in this is so good, and honestly, it being already prepared, it makes it so much easier to just pull out of the fridge, cut it up, warm it up, and call it a day. So I also picked up the chicken one. I These chicken ones are so good. Um, I, also, I said that we were making um, quesadillas. We are also going to be making queso bowls, kind of like a chipotle bowl um, with rice and black beans, and then this chicken. Um, we put some cheese sauce on it and shredded cheese and black beans and salsa and sour cream and all the fixings. It is so good and my kids absolutely love it. So that is what these are for. Now I will say that I usually buy these at Sam's. They are so much more affordable at Sam's. I think these were $5 and at Sam's I feel like you can get two of them for, um, 
like eight, six, six to eight dollars. So definitely a cheaper purchase at Sam's, but I was not going out that way. Uh, Sam's is just really far. So I don't typically shop there unless there is absolutely something that I know I cannot get anywhere else. Um, I will go out to Sam's. So anyway, moving on, I picked up some saltines to go with the chili. I picked up some, um, two things of Velveeta. One will be for the, for some homemade mac and cheese. And then the other one will be for that cheese sauce that I said that we put on our queso bowls. I mixed some Velveeta and Rotel together for that. And then I also picked up um, a bag of shredded lettuce. This will be for our tacos and our subs that we are going to be having. These buns, Nature's Own, are our favorite brand of bun and bread. So I picked up these for our brats. And then I picked up some hoagie rolls. Martin's hoagie rolls are the best. They are so soft, so flavorful, and perfect for subs. So that's what I picked those up for. Um, I did... I did spend, uh, let's see, $131.48 at Walmart. Um, the only things that you don't see here that were also included in that is um, two cases of Dr. Pepper Zero strawberries and cream and then two small cases of the um, Mountain Dew Major Melon. So those you don't see here, but that was the total for Walmart. Moving on to BJ's, um, the orders were pretty equal this go around. We spent $171.03 at BJ's this time. So um, usually I have a little bit more of Walmart and less of BJ's or more of BJ's and less of Walmart. But this go around, they were pretty equal. Um, we did pick up some toilet paper. I love the BJ's toilet paper. It works really well. And then um, you will not see a case, a large case of Diet Pepsi. So we store our pop in the garage and so I just take it out of the car and put it right on the shelf instead of bringing it inside but anyway I also picked up some peanut butter um most mornings I will make myself peanut butter toast actually it's more like lunchtime by the time I'll eat <laughs> um it's usually peanut butter toast and some coffee so um yes and then also our daughter recently started driver's ed and she has to take a lunch with her so she's been taking peanut butter and jelly um her choice so <laughs> you know some people just love their peanut butter and jelly she's one of them so that is why we picked up some peanut butter because we were pretty much out and we use a lot of it so i also picked up um some parmesan garlic sauce the buffalo um wild wings one we like this one um at buffalo wild wings so i'm hoping that the sauce is just as good in the store again we're going to be having wings for the soup Super Bowl. I did pick up some hamburger, this or ground beef. This is 88% um, lean ground beef. Um, it was like $40 for this tube. It is probably just over a 10 pound tube. Um, I think it runs about 383 or something like that a pound. Um, so, yes, so we'll be using that for the chili and the tacos and really anything else. I like buying it this way. It's cheaper to buy it this way. And then I will go ahead and break it down into Ziploc bags um, and flatten them out and then freeze them. I also picked up some sugar. We are out and we just needed it. So I also like to get these Car Balance um, Mission uh, taco shells for myself. My kids and hubby use the regular ones and then they'll also use hard shell, which we already have some of those. Uh, but these are my favorite. It makes me feel, I guess, better about eating tacos because tacos are like my favorite thing ever. Um, but anyway, if you are doing like a low, a low calorie or keto friendly diet, uh, these are good for that since they are low carb. I also picked up some bread. I the, These are like $5 for the two loaves um, of the Nature's Own Honey Wheat Bread. Again, we love Nature's Own. Of course, again, it supports local because Nature's Own is made here in Florida. Um, but anyway, this is our favorite bread. I will probably freeze all of these because I'm pretty sure we already have a loaf sitting out. And then I also picked up four gallons of skim milk. Um... 
this is a staple. <laughs> we may or may not use all these. Uh, not We will use them all. We may or may not need to add more. And then here are those wings I picked up. Um, hopefully the hubby uh, and the kiddos are going to like these because so it's chicken wing sections. It's the Wellesley Farms. It's just the store brand for BJ's. Um, they are bone in and I forget. I think it's 10 pounds. Yes. It's a 10 pound bag. So this, this baby is big. So I hope the kiddos and Fred will be happy with that because they got a lot of chicken wings to eat for, um, the Super Bowl. and your girl is not big on bone in chicken wings. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. But, and then I also picked up some of these Tresemme shampoo and conditioner leaders, um, you know, I remember when these were like $6 and now they are up to $9 when they go on sale. <laughs> so uh, the way of the world, I guess. Um, but anyway, the girls use these. I honestly, I used to buy them more expensive shampoo, um, but they like to just, I don't know, they overuse it, even though I've told them numerous times not to. Um, and then I always, 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 anytime anything is liquid for my kids, whether it is shampoo or body wash, um, it always comes with a pump because they use less of it that way. So little tip from Tammy, buy your kids shampoo and conditioner that has a pump, whether you buy it already on there or whether you buy a bottle and put it in there, I promise it's a lifesaver. So anyway, that's going to be it for that. Let's go ahead. Um, uh, we will go ahead and get it all put away. And then I will come back and give you a better idea of a meal plan that we actually have set forth for the next two weeks. tonight when I go to make tacos but anyway um, our total then for the day was $302.51 for a my weekly grocery for a family of six um, also I forgot to mention we do not do lunches here um, except for on the weekends because my kiddos uh, get um, the state of Florida is doing free lunch. I don't know if it's the state of Florida or if it's uh, Volusia County is doing free lunches for the school year. Um, hopefully they continue doing that because, oh, it's so expensive school lunches are. But anyway, so for the rest of this year, the kiddos will be eating school lunches, um, at school. Fred does take a lunch. Usually he will take leftovers of any sort, um, or even make him a PB&J or use a deli meat sandwiches. So these are all the the groceries are basically all up for dinner meals um, and then um, on the weekend like for breakfast um, usually for lunches they eat leftovers and I will say that we do leftovers about four days 
um, every two weeks. So two days a week we will have leftovers. Uh, but anyway, let me go ahead and jump into the meal ideas that we have going on for the next two weeks. Um, like I said, we're going to be having tacos, both beef and chicken tacos at some point, not on the same night, separate nights, and they will be separate weeks. They won't be in the same week, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, we will be having subs. Um, with our subs, we usually do like a potato or a macaroni salad, um, or even sometimes we'll do chips. I did forget to pick up that side, so I'm going to have to go back and get something. Um, I'm going to guess that I will probably get a, like uh, the Amish macaroni salad um, and the deviled egg potato salad. So we like those from Sam's Club Deli. It is really good. Or not Sam's Club, um, Walmart Deli. They are really good. So that's probably what we'll be eating for subs. Um, and then the wings on Sunday, we do have um, some tater tots and mozzarella sticks in the freezer already. So we'll probably just cook those along with it as like a side um, we also have lemon pepper chicken on the list. You didn't see anything for that because that is a rollover meal um, from the previous two weeks. We never got down to eating that. So that is on the list again. Um, quesadillas, like I said, we will have steak and chicken quesadillas. I will be picking up a bell pepper. Um, we already have an onion, but I need to pick up a bell pepper from the farmer's market. Um, and then we'll probably pick up eggs also from the farmer's market. Um, so not the eggs are not for the quesadilla the eggs are for like breakfast and stuff like that on the weekends but anyway I'll pick up the bell pepper for the quesadillas on at the farmer's market um, and then we already have cheese I buy cheese in bulk from BJ's so we don't need the cheese for that um, and then the queso bowls that I told you guys about earlier they are so good um, so definitely try those. Let me know if you do try those. They are kind of a knockoff of, um, Chipotle. We kind of had to make them our own because you guys, as a family of six, it is so expensive to eat out with all of us. Um, it's like literally you go to Taco Bell and it is like 50 to $60 for just our family at Taco Bell. <laughs> it's crazy. So, um, anyway, and then we're going to have brats with homemade mac and cheese, um, chili, and I already said chicken tacos. So, that is what is on the meal plan for the next two weeks. Um, anyway, I hope you guys will hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Make sure you like and comment and make sure you come back. I enjoy having you here. So anyway, I hope you all stay happy, healthy, and safe, and we will see you in the next one. Bye guys.